Once we've prepared our file system completely, it's time to import the database of our pre-existing site into this new empty site. We're not replacing the database, once again, but we're importing all of the information from the old database into the new one. So it'll be identical, but most importantly, it'll have a different database name, more than likely. To do this, first we need to export our current database. The process of exporting a database really depends on the server environment that you're using, and we cover this a little bit more in the backup tutorial. But very briefly, if you're exporting from an environment where your website is on a server using cPanel, you would go to PHP MyAdmin. By the way, this is not what we've been doing in this tutorial. But if your website is at a cPanel location, you go to PHP MyAdmin, choose Databases, select the database of your pre-existing website, and then click Export and go from there. But again, that's not how I've done this tutorial. This database that I'm looking at right now is the new one of this brand new install. It's not going to do us any good to export that. For me, I need to use the command line because that's what I use to access MySQL or MySQL as most people call it. First, I'm going to navigate to the desktop just to go somewhere that's not cluttered. And then I'm going to type in the command MySQL dump dash u, the username that you use to access MySQL dash p to tell it we're going to use a password, the name of the database we want to get, the greater than symbol, and then the file name that we want to give the exported SQL file. It'll ask you for your password. When you type it in, if you see no message, that means success. If we look at the files right here, we see we've gotten our export. But again, the export process varies greatly depending on what kind of environment your website is hosted on or your server is located at. So this is going to vary from person to person, especially if you're using cPanel on your site's current location. Once you have that export, you need to import it, once again, into this basically empty database. We do that in cPanel by going to PHP My Admin, Databases, and we'll select the database, again, of this new site that we haven't created any content on. For me, that's this one. And we're going to import the export that we just created. Notice there is a max file size here. If you're working on a large site, you're not going to be able to just upload SQL file that you export. You'll need to compress that in some manner, and then you can upload the compressed file there are cases on large sites where even the compressed file is too large to upload here using cPanel. In those cases, you have to use the command line, which is outside of the scope of this tutorial. Or, in most cases, you can also get in touch with your web host and ask them to help you out. Tell them that the file that you need to import is too large and you need their help getting that imported into your database and they can help you with that. But for us, We've got a very small site. We can simply import the .sql file that we just created. So we will, next to here where it says file to import, browse your computer, we will choose the file we want and go to desktop, grab that .sql file, open and click go. Once this is done, we should have all of our information on our website. All right, so now is the moment of truth. We've successfully, according to this message, imported our database. Let's go check out our website. If we refresh the page now, it should look just like this. We have our old site back. We can log in using our original username and password. And we have our site exactly how it was to begin with. Congratulations you've successfully moved your website from one location to another.